friends and welcome to Coffee with My Sunshine. Thanks so much for coming by. So today's video is really fun for me. You know if you've been with me for a while that I love doing lanterns. So if you'd like to see how I did this one, then please keep watching. So for this one, it's really simple. I will put the sizes up in the corner and in my description box, but all you'll need are some Dollar Tree frames. I have these five by seven ones and I was going for more of like a modern, a little bit glitzy look. So I went with the black and silver, but with the frames, they might say five by seven, but it doesn't mean the actual frame size is five by seven. So I'm showing you the size that mine is so that my top and bottom measurements will fit your frames. If you go with different size frames, you'll want to adjust the top and bottom sizes. You will also need these. These are going to be like pillars. You could also use the square dowel rods. Those would be really easy. These my husband cut for me. This is the bottom. It's just square and the top just super simple. You could use square ones. You don't need this fancy little edge, but um, I wanted to change it up a little bit different than the um, white one that I've done before. I'll show you a picture of that in the corner if you haven't seen it. But these are, you could get um, blocks like this or um, wood, you know, wood squares like this at Hobby Lobby or Michael's. They'll just be di different sizes if you can't cut them yourself. And I believe Home Depot could make some cuts for you as well. You'll also need a topper. I used that from a um, spindle. You'll need some wood glue, hot glue, and a ruler. And this I am just showing you the cuts that my husband made for me. I love when he can help me out. I can definitely use power tools myself, but um, I think he has more fun doing it. Well, I'm not sure if that's true. <laughs> I love using power tools too, but um, I don't know. I think he enjoys helping as much as I like him helping me out on these projects. So he's doing the two top pieces. And then cutting the pillars for me. Like I said, I will have sizes and angles and stuff in the description box if you guys are interested. But these little pillar things were my husband's idea and I love how it turned out, so I'm gl so glad he suggested them. <laughs> and then these little pieces are going to be the feet. Not necessary either. <laughs> and then this is the little spindle thing. I've used this piece for so many projects, like um, a tiered tray. I think I used it for a little soap tray, but I'm cutting off another little piece for the top of this lantern. And then I'm just taking the pieces um, that he cut for me and sanding them really well. This one we did, we cut upside down on accident. We should have done it on the nice smooth side, but that's okay. <laughs> Nothing a little sanding won't help. <laughs> then you wanna measure to make sure that top piece is centered onto the other top piece. And then I just um, marked it so that when I took it off to put the wood glue on and put it back down, I would put it in the same spot. <laughs> so then I'm taking a little bit of that wood glue I'm coating it pretty good and also hot glue to hold it in place while the wood glue dries. And then normally I would clamp it, but I was having such a hard time with these clamps. I just, I guess, didn't have enough strength in my hand to open them up. So I just put something heavy on top of it and that'll just, that'll work just fine. So then I'm taking the frames and I'm pulling the back piece out and the glass and I'm also removing these tabs. 
because you will see them if, if they're folded down, you're gonna see them when the lantern's all put together. So you don't want that. <laughs> and then you can use some Gorilla Glue. I'm sure a high heat hot glue gun would work just fine to hold the mirror, or I'm sorry, the glass in. I believe that's what I used last time. I can't remember. And that one has held up great. But I used both and then set the glass back in lightly. I didn't want to push too hard because I didn't want the glue to like gush out. And then I just went ahead and did that to all four frames. And then here is where you're taking those little pillar pieces. Like I said, you could use the square dowel rods if you didn't have um, a way to cut them. And then same here, I'm using some of the wood glue and hot glue. And I am, I laid the frame flat, like facing up flat on a flat surface. And then also did the same with the pillars. That way there's this little gap or not gap, it's a, the little raised edge in front of the frame. I just thought that would look prettier. And then I did that on both, on two sides. I can't talk tonight, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> and then let th those dry pretty good. And then um, after those were dry, I attached the other two frames to it. And you wanna make sure the frame that you're attaching to that little pillar piece um, is on the inside of the pillar piece, just like you did with the other frame, if that makes sense. You'll be able to tell just by watching. and then you let those dry and then you attach the other frame in the same way. And you'll probably have to pull on the frames a little bit um, just to make sure that they line up evenly. And I think it's already super pretty. I like the um, rustic modern look to it. So then taking the bottom, I'm going to set the base on the top so that I can measure it out and um, mark it just like I did for the top piece. And then in the same way, just taking some of the wood glue and hot glue. 
and putting it onto the bottom base piece. And then you're gonna to wanna to let that dry really well. And then while I was waiting, I just added that little spindle top piece to my topper. So then this is the lantern without the feet. I just went ahead and added a battery candle and this little um, greenery piece from the Dollar Tree. And that's what it looks like without the feet. And then here, I forgot actually to add them. My husband reminded me, so I'm adding them. And then here it is, all finished. I think it's super pretty. It can be used for any holiday, any season. I keep my other one up all year round. I just think they're great with little candles or little um, scenes in them and stuff. I will link, link my other two lanterns if you want to see those. I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. I have a really fun video coming out on Friday and that is a collab and also an awesome giveaway. So you'll want to be sure to check that out and subscribe. Um, also, I have another video that's a collab coming out on my other channel, Life, Love, and Endless Laundry. I would love for you to join me over there as well. Thanks so much for all your love and support, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye!